Cindy, you're a, you're a dreamer. I am. So what do you think about what happened today and the exemption for DACA children like yourselves? Um, and do you believe that there is, is there, you're talking about common ground. Is there common ground? And do you think that this administration wants to find it? And do you think the resistors and the never Trumpers also want to? You know, Martha, I really think that this is a first step towards what really needs to happen, which is to address comprehensive immigration reform. And this is truly surprising, I think, for many of us that President Trump decided to keep DACA intact. And that's great and that's good. But right now, there's a lot of fear out in the communities. There's actually some dreamers that have been targeted. And the, we have families. So what's happening to our families? You know, that's always a concern. So just because we may be feeling a little bit secure does not mean that the communities throughout the country are. And DACA comes with many benefits, such as advanced parole, which many people are not familiar with. But advanced parole is something that we can request through huma humanitarian clause, educational, or other, you know, there's three clauses. And I was able to get that because my grandmother was ill in Mexico when she was dying. So and I was able to spend the five last days of her life with her. I want to get a couple of our friends